The story of a mayor being punched in the face by the 80-year-old father of a political opponent has gone all over the world at this point. I chased it here to Pagoda and met with Mayor Tito Jackson, who gave me a play-by-play -play of the moments leading up to the father of a political nemesis, town council candidate Tina Trotta, punching him in the face Tuesday right here in the parking lot of a polling place. It gives a black eye to our town, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed that... Uh, I'm embarrassed for his behavior, so. The mayor says 80-year-old Salvatore Trotta was waiting for him by his truck at the far end of this parking lot when he left the Bogota Recreational Center where he just cast his vote. Extended my hand to him to shake his hand, and uh, he then told me that he was uh, Tina Trotta's father. Trotta made accusations that the police were following his daughter and took issue with the mayor cutting down trees in this lot across the street. I then attempted to call the Bogota police. Uh, he knocked the phone out of my hand. He pushed me. I started to walk back here. I One poll worker was outside when Trotter refused to step aside and eventually hit the mayor in the side of the head. Now, the mayor says Tina Trotta, who just lost her bid for city council, is suing the town for cutting down trees near Olson Park here across the street. I made several attempts to contact Ms. Trotta, and no one appeared to be home. But the website Politicker NJ is reporting Sal Trotta's side of the story. He reportedly claims Mayor Jackson referred to Trotta's daughter as nothing but a money-hungry piece of and that's when Trotta admits he punched the mayor, but the site also reports Trotta plans to sue the mayor for punching him. I asked Mayor Jackson if there's any truth to it, and he said there's not. No truth to that. A absolutely not. Absolutely not. Tito does admit he told Mr. Trotta he doesn't think someone who was suing the town should be running for council. However, the mayor makes it clear he was the victim here. He's made his statements to police and he hopes Mr. Trotta will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. We'll keep you posted with any updates.